the hair, the legs, the lips, the voice, and the rock and roll attitude. Simply the best with Louisa Marshall. Hey! Kumusta na po kayo? I'm so excited tonight. I'm going to take you all to a journey to Kalibo Aklan. But not really. It will feel like we're there, but not really. Anyway, I had the best time at the Vancouver Philippine Ati Atihan Festival. And I am proud to show all of you, my precious viewers, what this is all about. Tonight's show is most specially for all those who hasn't experienced the most fun and the most noisy Philippine-style Mardi Gras in Vancouver. Here's a sneak peek of what you actually missed. Tonight, ipapakita po namin ang Vancouver Philippine Ati Atihad Festival. Marami pong dumalo sa St. Francis Xavier Gym last January 9th to witness the wildest and the noisiest Filipino fiesta. The name Atiatihan means Make Believe Atis. It is a very colorful festival in honor of the Santo Niño, the oldest religious image in the Philippines. History said that the Spanish warrior Magellan gave the Santo Niño as a gift, and the people rejoiced the arrival of the Santo Niño by celebrating on the streets. This is held every third week of January every year in Calibo Aklan. The wild dancing and the pulsating rhythms of the drums makes this festival very similar to Brazil's Mardi Gras celebration. Here's the story of the Ati Atihan. In the 13th century, long before the Spaniards settled in the Philippines, there were light-skinned settlers from the island of Borneo, known as the Marainan from Indonesia, who came to Panay Island. The local people of Panay, also known as the Ati, sold them a small piece of land and permitted them to settle down in the lowlands. The Atis lived more upland in the mountains. One time, the Ati people was in need of food because of a bad harvest when strong rains wiped out the entire hillside crops. They came down to the lowlands of the Marainan and asked them for food. Every year since then, the Atis came down to the lowland people to ask for some food. The lowlanders who had a good harvest shared their blessings with the Ati. They danced and sang in gratefulness for the helping hand. A real friendship was born, and the Marainans started to paint their faces black in honor of the Atis and took part in the festival. Ati Atihan is now the Filipino Mardi Gras, which is one of the most exciting, most colorful, and fun festivals in the Philippines. The participants paint their faces in many different ways and wears very colorful ethnic costumes, sometimes carrying a torch or a sword as accessories. The festivals now includes any local group in Aklan with a unique tribal tradition and also other commercial organizations and other individuals who want to participate and create outstanding costumes every year. And no matter what age you are, you are welcome to join. Dance, chant, beat on the drums, or just take pictures in the middle of everything. The Atiatihan Festival has become a major tourist attraction when it started the native dance competitions of the participants to the drum beats that run for several days. The competitors create their own colorful, outrageous costumes very interesting looking masks and unique headdresses and some would paint their bodies with black ash to look dark like the native ati. I remember when my father used to bring me and my siblings to one Ati Atihan festival in Manila. I was just a little girl and I remember being overwhelmed by it all. The parade, the mask and the wild loud sound of the drums. But now, I am ready to be part of this, right here, right now, in Vancouver, 
Here's my Vancouver Filipina Tia Tihan experience. It's time to party and dance to the beat of the drums. Woo! We are not in Calibo Aklan. Nandito po tayo sa St. Francis Xavier Gym in Vancouver para ma-celebrate natin ang Philippine Atiatihan Festival. Although this festival is normally celebrated out on the streets, the organizing committee of the Aklanon Association decided to celebrate indoors so rain or shine, the celebration goes on. However, there are plans of putting it out on the streets next year. Mayor Gregor Robertson officially proclaimed January 9th as the Philippine Ati Atihan Day in the city of Vancouver. The whole Filipino community is so excited on this proclamation and this will give us more reason to party that night. And therefore, I, Gregor Robertson, here in the city of Vancouver, do hereby proclaim Saturday, January 9, 2010 as in the city of Vancouver. Congratulations! Again, ladies and gentlemen, we should all be proud of this proclamation because as a Filipino here, we have a Tetihan Day to come together and celebrate our culture as a Filipino. So, viva my Senor Santo Nino! And thank you so much to the, to the mayor for, for this proclamation. I told you guys, I hope you can stay and we're going to do the Sansa and the Hey, Jojo! Happy New Year! Happy New Year Woo! and Happy Ati Atihan Day! Happy Ati Atihan Day! Exactly. Wow, that's wonderful. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I just would like to refresh the memory of our viewers again. Okay. I have your Jojo Kimpo. Uh, he was on my show about uh, last month, like yeah. during my Christmas special. Yeah. Thank as you a... for that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and right now, we're in another event, and this one is really, really close to Jojo's heart. And uh, you know what? This is going to be an exciting evening for us and not only you know to all the Philippines but I think for the uh, city of Vancouver so tell me Jojo you yeah. are holding there ah uh, this is uh, Mayor Gregor Robertson's proclamation of Atiatihan Day in Vancouver actually he already proclaimed it last year with with another proclamation thing but this is the a sort of a confirmation again that because we, we're doing it every year so this is Ati Ati Han Day. We're doing Ati Ati Han back home in the Philippines and we brought it here in Vancouver. And we're so glad that the city of Vancouver recognized our culture and hence for the proclamation. So viva Kai Senor Santo Niño for this one. That's amazing, Jojo. Congratulations to you. I know you. you've done a lot of hard work to be able to reach this point. Exactly. Without your support, guys, <laughs> we couldn't make it here. So thank you so much to all the Filipino communities and and also the, uh, the media for supporting this event. Thank you so much, especially here, Louisa. <laughs> okay. This is my friend, so thank you. <laughs> thank you too, Jojo.